Hi guys, Mike Thurston here. I hope you've all recovered from leg day. Today is day two and we're working out shoulders and chest. For me, I find that my, my chest is probably one of my strongest points. I also find my shoulders, again, it's quite a strong point. So what I tend to do is I'll combine both of them together into one workout. So that means I can then focus on my, my weaker areas and hit them you know, twice a week. First exercise, we did flat dumbbell bench press. On this one, I was keeping the negative reasonably slow. So from top to the bottom of the movement, it was three seconds, a slight pause at the bottom, stretch the pecs, and then pressing the dumbbells back to the top. I won't press as heavy as I possibly can, because if I do, it just means that my shoulders, particularly my front delts, do the majority of the work, and I can't really get that squeeze compared to if I was doing a, a lighter weight. So I keep the weight in which I can keep the tension throughout the entire set. So if I'm doing 10 reps, I want to make sure that I can place the tension on my chest for those 10 reps. We're doing eight to 10 reps, I'm going for four sets. With dumbbells, I find that the range of motion is greater, so I can get much lower. And when I bring the dumbbells back to the top, it allows me to really bring my elbows together and shorten the pec. Next exercise, we did a superset that was dumbbell lateral raises, supersetted with a plate front raise. With the dumbbell lateral raise, I'm trying to place the tension on the midpoint of my delt. So I'm thinking about keeping my little fingers higher than my, all my other fingers and making sure that I'm maybe leaning forward ever so slightly, making sure that my torso is static throughout the movement. The superset went on to front raises with the plate. You know, I'll mix it up sometimes, we'll do dumbbells. Today we did uh, the plate, it was 20 kilograms. Again, just bringing it up to about eye level, maybe a little bit higher, slowly on the way down. I'm not going all the way down to the bottom and resting because I will release the tension on my front delt. I'm trying to keep time with the tension throughout this entire set. So I'll bring it down nice and slowly. And a couple of inches before bringing it all the way down to my thighs, I'm then gonna bring the weight back up again. Sets and reps, I did uh, 10 to 12 reps on the lateral raises and then 10 reps on the plate front raise. Next exercise was the upright cable press. Again, superset it with the cable fly. Now, the reason why I've used a bench in this one is to ensure that I keep my torso as upright as possible and to reduce any swinging backwards and forwards creating any momentum. With the press, I'm having the cable attachments about shoulder height, keeping my elbows high, and when I'm pressing, I'm pushing my chest out as much as possible and having a little bit of an arch in my lower back. This, again, is to try and prevent my shoulders from coming forward as I press. So when I press, I'm not thinking about pushing the hand, my hands out in front of me, I'm thinking about bringing my elbows together at the top of the movement. So as I do this, I'm bringing my elbows together and squeezing my pecs as much as possible. So I'm going to go for 10 reps on that and I'm going to lower the weight by a couple of pins, again to a weight which I can maintain the tension across my chest and reduce my shoulders from coming forward. And then I'm going to go into a fly movement. At the bottom of the fly movement, I'm going to bend my elbows slightly, stretch my pecs and then I'm going to push forward, bring my elbows together and squeeze as much as possible for another 10 reps. Next exercise was a alternating overhead press. So what I was doing with this one is I was pressing one dumbbell up at a time. Uh, the reason behind doing this is because I'm maximizing the time of detention throughout this set. So instead of pressing both up, I'm actually pressing up one at a time. So therefore almost doubling the amount of time my muscles are working. So when you're doing this, you're not gonna be able to press as heavy as you would do by pressing both dumbbells up at the same time, um, but it's still very effective nonetheless. So again, I'm gonna keep my hands, I'm gonna always be above my elbows no matter what point in the press I'm at. So one up, I'm bring it all the way down. As soon as I brought one arm all the way down, I'm gonna bring the other one up. So the arm that is not necessarily resting, but in the bottom position doesn't move. Your delt is constantly under tension whilst the other one is being pressed up. 
So we're going to go for 20 reps on that, so it's basically 10 on each arm. So the next exercise went into another chest one, superset with a close grip dumbbell press, superseted with press ups. The close grip dumbbell press, I'm going to do this on a slight incline so I can place a little bit more of the tension on upper chest. And as I'm holding these dumbbells, I'm constantly pushing them together as hard as I possibly can. So the harder you try and push your hands together, the greater the tension is going to be across your chest. And bear in mind when you're doing this exercise, you want to try and keep your shoulders back throughout. So go for a lighter weight and just remember the harder you push together the better. Once you've done that we're then going to go on to press-ups. Just basic press-ups with very strict form. So I'm making sure hands are about just wider than shoulder width apart. My whole body is straight and aligned. At the top I'm going to do a slight squeeze and then back down to the bottom. Again, we'll go to 10 reps, um, and during the, the last set, maybe the second to last set, we'll go to failure. The last one was a standing cable fly. The reason why I like to do this one is because the forces are acting slightly different when compared to doing just a standard dumbbell fly. The hardest point in the movement is when the cable is at 90 degrees to your arm, so it's actually going to be in this position. So you're just hitting the strength curve from a different angle. Keep your chest out, shoulders back, torso straight, there's going to be no swinging backwards and forwards to try and get the weight up. You're going to bring it up slowly, slight pause at the top, and then a slow negative, three, two, one, and then back up. And we're going to go for 15 reps on that one. So because it's, it's the last exercise, I'll do a bit of a finisher and maybe on the last set, I'll do 15 reps, drop the weight, probably do another 10 reps and then probably hit maybe 10 partial reps where I'm just going halfway up and just bouncing up and down. So that was day two guys, come back tomorrow and make sure you check out my back workout.